Just an old friend. And the masters of the universe. How's it going, everybody? Today I've got another Master Verse review for you. This is Ram Man, and I'm gonna go ahead and throw some pictures up on the screen of the box art. I feel like that'll be a little better and easier for you to see it than me just holding the box up. And here's what's on the inside. I will just give you a quick little view, Masterverse on the top. And then there's the back. I'm gonna go ahead and like I said, pop some pictures up on screen so you can just get a better look at that box art. And then after that, we will go ahead and pull them out of here. All right, so here he is out of the box. I kind of got him posed. Ram Man is pretty cool, and I was super excited to get him out of the box. Um, the first thing we're going to do is go over some of his accessories, the extra stuff that he, excuse me, comes with. So he comes with two additional hands. One is a little fist hand. And then one is a hand, a left hand to hold the axe if he wants to hold the axe. He currently has a fist hand on his left right now and then obviously the holding hand on his right. He comes with these additional head sculpts. Really cool, it's got like a little crown on top. Looks like he's wearing some sunglasses or something. It's like this metallic blue and orange. It matches this vest really well, which does have a slot on the back where you can put his ax if you want to. I'm probably going to keep him displayed like this as the classic Ram Man from my childhood, but it is really cool that they give you these extra pieces. And then here we have another one, which this one is more like a samurai style helmet. It's pretty cool. It also has like a, a crown type thing around the top. And then what I noticed, it has this little key on the back. And his other helmet doesn't have the little key, nor does the kind of spacey helmet. And then he also comes with this axe. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out of his hand just so we can get this stuff swiped to the side. I did put some pictures up earlier of what he looked like with the other armor on. Um, as far as his articulation goes, now this is what was really cool. The old original 80s toy, I felt like even though he looked cool, was kind of one of the um, more generic toys in the line. He was kind of all plastic. You could push down on him and then he would kind of spring up or spring forward, which is a cool idea, but he just didn't, you couldn't move his legs. He was just, he was just different than the other characters. I feel like this is one of the best Ram Mans that I have seen so far. Let's take a closer look here of his little head and face. And then we'll go over his articulation and we'll just start with the head. For having this big old collar and then this big old helmet on his head, he still does have really good range of motion. I mean, you can spin him all the way around if you want to backwards. Uh, he does tip down a little bit. He doesn't look up that far because the way the collar is in the back here, but he looks up enough, I'd say. The helmet's not removable. You don't get any heads without the helmet, but that wouldn't really be Ram Man. Um, this top shoulder pads these are not removable it's all part of it um as well as this red this is like a rubbery loin cloth area to the bottom of his shirt um as far as his arms the shoulder pads kind of block his arms from going up as high as some other ones do but they do rotate at the bicep all the way around we have the double articulated elbows as well as the spin around wrists Same thing on this side. He does have the crunch knob bend here in the in the middle, and then his waist, although stiff, it does rotate. As far as his legs go, which this is what I was pretty excited to see, because like I said, you couldn't move the legs in the old one. So we've got a pretty good split. Feels like the same double jointed knees in there. And then this is like a rubber. You can see how it's been, it just kind of bends. This was just all hard plastic with the original. Maybe I'll pop up a picture of the original Ram Man and uh, that way you can see him for comparison. And then the boot swivels. 
the sole of the shoe articulates up, down, left, right. It also turns on this hinge. And then what I forgot to mention, you can't really tell because of the way that these rivets are, but it does have the thigh swivel as well, which it works really well. These bands kind of mask it where the, the other figures, when you turn it, it kind of messes up their muscle tone, you know, because it needs to be lined up. But there he is, Ziram Man. And as, as far as pudding, we will go ahead and just show you what he looks like if we pop on. A couple other heads. Ooh, his head's on there. There it goes. So we'll do sunglasses head. How hard is this to put on? We should be able to at least just take a look at it. Depending how tight it is is whether I'm going to fasten it on there all the way or not. Let's go ahead and put it on and just get a, get a feel for it. It's kind of reminiscent of the old He-Man straps. This also, there it is, on pretty good. This is also made out of like a nice rubber. It's not like a plastic. And then we'll put his ax in the back. Just because it can. So then there's another version of the Ram Man. I feel like this could sit there a little lower. Ram Man with some shades on in case it's bright outside, you know? And then we'll go ahead and take a look at the samurai helmet as well because it also matches this kind of like samurai looking armor. It does have this blue around the top, the like crown like piece, and then the like, sh I call it shredder. Kind of reminds me of Shredder's mask. It's also the same kind of steel blue color. His head's stiff. There we go. Now, be, because of the full face guard, this one does not turn right to left as much, nor up and down. So you get way less articulation with this, with this head than the one that just comes in the box, the kind of traditional Ram Man head. But there he is. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to tell someone you love them. Friend that like button. Hit the subscribe. Go ahead and turn the notifications on so you'll see my upcoming reviews. We talk about God, Bible verses, action figures, and guns on this channel. I know it's kind of a wide, open range of topics, but hey, that's what I like. Have a wonderful day.